Jesus, that was intense! Hey guys, and welcome to a well. I was going to say welcome to another episode of Pokemon White 2, but this is Pokemon Heart Gold. Um, this is going to be the first episode of this uh, brand new walkthrough that I actually forgot to change on Twitch that I was doing. I believe it still says I'm doing Pokemon White 2, but I will fix that at the end of this episode. No info needed, because I am not a noob at this game like I was in White 2. Looks like the sun is descending in the sky. So this would be called Twilight, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I would like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. No, I don't want to... Oh, right, okay. Okay, he's telling me something interesting. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Uh, at times we play together and other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop close bonds. Uh huh. I think that's uh, the majority of the Pokemon world. Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Huh. Or if you're a boy or a girl, won't you please tell me? Um, and to answer the chat... Uh, I do know what my team should be, and uh, I know what starter I will be picking, yes. Please tell me your name. Well, as I am a boy, I'm like 98% sure, uh, I will be calling myself Chris72. Christina. Um, I will actually say my family did call me that when I was younger, uh, whenever I grew my hair and refused to get it cut. So uh, yeah, I, I now have uh, a phobia of a name, Christina. And here we go. Do, 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 do. Oh man, I actually love this game. It was actually this game... Oh, I don't, don't apologize, I find it really funny whenever I talk about it. Um, but no, th this was actually the game that made me want to uh, start doing walkthroughs and let's plays in the first place. So, for that kind of aspect of it, this should be really fun. <laughs> because this was kind of my favorite generation, um, so I, I will have a lot of fun playing this. He said he had a favor of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here is a bag to carry things. Um, the only thing I will need to do is apparently I will need to save more often. There's apparently the ROMs for Heart Gold and Soul Silver can be quite buggy. Um, so I will be saving quite frequently, but uh, I'll be skipping all the frames whenever that happens. It's a Meryl! Okay, so it's, it's Lyra, I think her name is. Yeah, her name is Lyra. Yeah, yeah, that was the plan. I was going to be in-game saving. Okay, so here we go. Oh, okay, that, that's not bad then. I didn't know that. Dot, dot, dot. So this is famous Elm Laboratory. What? What are you staring at? And then he kicks you! What a dick! Ah. Ah, violence! Violence of the 90s, I swear to Christ. What a dick. Ah. Dick. Anyway, besides calling that guy a dick, we actually have a game to play. Hi, Chris72. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried from Pokeballs these days. But before Pokeballs were invented, people used to walk with Pokemon. Just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs were great because you can carry many Pokemon, but by walking with Pokemon you have some advantages. It could have something to do with Pokemon Growth or Evolve. So, I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of this Pokeball to see if it brings any special feelings or bonds? Um, yeah. Sure, why not? Seems, uh, legit. Oh, hey, I got an email! Uh, Professor Elm, um, um, okay, yes, um, mm, mm, yes. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. That guy is dedicated. I mean, uh, calling yourself Mr. Pokemon, I like Pokemon and all, but I wouldn't call myself Mr. Pokemon. You can go in our place, right? We can count on you. 
You can choose one of the Pokémon over there. Huh. Well, thank you for the generous offer of picking one of your Pokémon. Um, I think I will possibly be picking... Will it be, will it be Chikorita, the Grass-type? Will it be Cyndaquil, the Fire-type? Or will it be Tordile, the Water-type? And I will be picking... I will be picking... The suspense is killing me! Uh, the suspense is keep on growing! And I will be picking Cyndaquil, the Fire-type Pokémon! Chris072 has received Cyndaquil from Professor Elm. Give a nickname to the Cyndaquil. Yes, I will need a nickname, so if you guys want to put a nickname in the comments, or uh, the comments, the Twitch chat, um, that would be awesome if you guys want to give me a nickname. I will pick from the best nickname that is given. Smokey, that's a good one. Any, any other options? Flames? Fla flames? Flame? Ooh, quite close. Uh, any other names? Touch? Uh, touch? Yeah, yeah. And hey there, Test9001. Don't think I've spoken to you ever before. I will say, out of those names, um, I do think that... I I'm thinking Smokey, to be honest, uh, because I normally... Uh, whenever I normally get a fire type, I normally call it Pyro or Pyre. Or something like those. Um, and I, I, I've never fought Smokey before. That's uh, that's quite unique. So I think we're going to be calling him Smokey. I, I'm quite happy with Smokey, to be honest. Although I, I do think that flame, uh, that flame was a pretty good flame, and flames were pretty awesome as well. But uh, Smokey, yeah, uh, I, I could see him being called Smokey. And what the hell's the K? Yes, Smoke. Smokey Y. Um, we're gonna call him Smokey47, just for the pants. Okay, Smokey47. I'm happy with that nickname. Sorry, TP. Hopefully, uh, pick the next nick. Pick the next nickname. <laughs> Life is just so shit. It's first world problems right here. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. This house is past Cherry Grove City. We'll go north, little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Chris72. That's it. Count on a 10-year-old who's never done Pokemon battling before. I want you to have these to help you with your task. Attend the potions. Okay, so he's going to give you some free stuff. And you can tell I'm really excited about Pokemon Heart Gold. Because, oh, oh geez, I absolutely love this generation. In all seriousness, oh, I'm so psyched for this game. What's Lyra, what's Lyra saying to it? Chris 72, Chris 72, so you picked a Cyndaquil. That's a cute Pokemon. You have. If you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. I'm sure it will. What is my next Pokemon? My next Pokemon is a surprise Pokemon. As I believe I revealed in my last episode of Pokemon White 2, the one thing I will be revealing about the game was the one Pokemon I will have, and it will be a reoccurring Morphs. But it won't be... I won't be telling you which Morphs it will be. That was the mystery. Whoa. So there will be an Eevee on my team at some point. I completely forgot, your Pokegear came back from the repair shop. Here you go. It might be an Umbreon. It might not be an Umbreon. The Pokemon Gear, or Poke Gear, is often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use Poke Gear to make a phone call too. Do you remember how? Yes, I remember how to make a phone call. I'm not, I'm not tired. Not tired? I don't even know why I said tired. Whoa, I can't believe it. It's so easy to make a phone call. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm streaming right now. I mean, I'd imagine that's a little bit more. He will be getting called Morphs 3. That is the nickname. Um, uh, that is the one thing I will not be asking for the nickname in the chat. He will be getting called Morphs 3 out of a whole team. Um, but it, I'm not going to say which EV evolution it will be, though. The EV evolution will be a surprise. The, t the suspense is killing me. And let us move on. Route 29. Do 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 do
And we have found a wild centret, and it's our first Pokemon that we have found in this walkthrough. So Smokey47, we're gonna smoke this. And I'm just gonna try and skip as many frames as possible for this. But no, I will be catching stuff before we get to morphs. Do 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 Ah jeez. And it's so good to be able to skip frames in this Pokemon game. As whenever it was in Pokemon uh, White 2 and I've ever found a wild Pokemon, I had to like go through normal speed. But you know, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, it's cool, I can just skip their frames, and it's so much easier. The next Pokemon will not be morphs, no, there will be at least one more Pokemon in between now and then. Do 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 Um, certain games on what uh, certain games have like stronger anti-piracy. Um, so basically, certain games can kind of prevent you from frame skipping. But uh, most of it should be cool. It should be cool. Maybe a Geodude or a Zubat. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Only time will tell. Do 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 do. Oh, I love the music in this game! It's so awesome! I get so excited by this game! Okay, I thought there was an item back there, but nope. You hate Zubat? What's wrong with Zubat? Zubat is, uh... It's almost as awesome as, um... What do you call him? Uh, I can't even remember the name of a... Well, I was just playing the game as well, I can't even remember. It's Wubat, that's what it is. It's almost as cool as Wubat, Zubat. And there we go, Centret. Come on, die. Hurry up and die, Centret. There we go, level... Oh, I was going to say level 7, but no, nowhere near it. And it's an old guy. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you don't, I can teach you a few things. Okay, then. Follow me. Oh jeez, this is Sharon all over again. I don't want to follow you, old man. I'm sorry, I thought you were wearing the winning shoes. I'll try to go slow as possible. Try keeping up. Oh jeez. Uh, this is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot. You better learn about them. Uh huh. This is a Pokemon. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Like the net I'm going to use to catch you. Oh wait, what? Okay. The dialogue kind of went off a little bit there. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon up there. If you go a little further, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. I don't know why I'm doing this voice. It's even creeping me out. This is the sea, as you can see. Ha <laughs> bad puns. Oh jeez, stop running away! Here is my house. For your effort for keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm. Oh jeez, I don't like it. Chris72 has received the running shoes from the guide gent. Okay, so touch the sprint button on the sprint screen to... Yeah, okay. Or maybe I'm a Reap or a Whooper. Ah, you can't live without knowing my team. The suspense will just be growing and growing as we carry on this walkthrough. Okay, so who's this? Oh Jesus, this guy again, he's got the net. I made it! I forgot about one thing. Here's another token from me. I don't want your tokens and your sweeties! Go away! You creepy man! He's gonna give me a town map which really is a tracking device so he's gonna know exactly where I am at all points. Ah. Uh. I'm so creeped out by that guy. But it's okay, because we have gone on to Route 30, and here we go, get an antidote. Oh, it's a potion. I know, uh, to be honest, this was the most amazing thing. Um, well, not, not the most amazing thing about this game, but it was definitely very useful to have. People usually come into my house looking for Mr. Pokemon's house. You did meaning to visit my house, right? How kind of you. Do you have any apricorns? Uh, apricorns. Okay, so yeah, this is a really cool thing about this game. Um, basically, you'd get the apricorns off the trees and you could use them to create new Pokeballs. 
And that was a really awesome thing I liked about this game, and it was something, uh... It was something that made it a little bit more interesting to play. And yeah, the fact that your Pokémon could follow you as well, that was just... Absolute... a stroke of sheer genius in this game. And I'm gonna quickly save. Saving a lot of data, don't turn off the power. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up and save. Uh, oh yeah, Pokemon Ch Oh, Pokemon MMO. I think I'm sorry, Test. I completely I seen you put that earlier on. I completely forgot to answer you, man. Um, yeah, I actually have Pokemon MMO. It's really awesome. I I really like it. I'm sorry about that. I completely forgot to answer you. Uh, hurry up, hurry up and save. There we go. Chris72 has saved the game. And I feel like a hero right now, because I've saved the game, apparently. <laughs> and you know what I just realized? Despite us beginning this game, we never even had a look at what, you know, what morphs... Well, not morphs, uh, about what uh, Smokey actually is, like what his natures are of that. It's a quirky nature. I completely forgot. I, uh, oh, I'm so sorry, Smokey. Uh, and yeah, I do play the Pokemon MMO. If I was directed to me, or if it's directed to Smokey, I have no, or not Smokey, uh, test. Uh, come on, we can take this Metapod down, because I want to get the XP for killing Metapod. I have it, but I'm literally like, uh, I think I've just beaten Brock or something in it. Um, I'm not very far, I know that. Come on, Smokey! Come on, we will, we will prove to be just as awesome as Fire Bacon was. I get that feeling. And level 7, so we get a nice little level up there. And up here, here we go. Oh, there's a little apricorn, so we might as well pick that up while we're here. And it's a pink apricorn. Chris72 received a pink apricorn. Is apricorn an apricorn? No, it's not apricorn. It's an apricorn. I feel so stupid right now. It's an apricorn, not an apricorn. You must be Chris! It was I who sent an email to Professor Elm. I like when he used to go, it was I who sent the email. I summoned the little peasant to send a little messenger boy. Ha 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 Okay, but I'm gonna get a mystery egg. Uh, again, I kinda got a little bit too into that. Um, I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell me what it is. He's the best when it comes to researching our Pokemon evolutions. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Aw, oh, thank you. Oh jeez. God, he walks so slow. What are you doing in this region? I swear to God, I thought you were in the Kanto region. Ha huh, ha. Huh. We don't need no Professor Oak, we have Professor Elm. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna give me something? Stop looking at my Pokemon! It's making me feel uncomfortable. Um, I did already show Smokey, but I'll quickly show him again, just when Professor Oak, uh... When Professor Oak decides to leave me alone... Uh... Jeez, stop... Give- Oh, wait, he gave me a Pokedex, that's cool. Yeah, it's not as if, um... Wait, why are you giving a high piece of tech- Why are you giving some tech to a ten-year-old? Surely you'd be giving this to, like, an experienced Pokemon trainer. Haha. Uh -huh. Go away. I'm not, okay, I'm not giving me any more old man my phone number. This is going to become something, you know, no more old men are getting my phone numbers. That's cool, I'll, I'll just quickly show him it. This is Smokey, he's a quirky nature, and I'm very happy with that. And yeah, level 7, so, there's Smokey. Now don't freeze, awesome, it didn't freeze. Uh, hello, Chris. It's a disaster. It's just terrible. What should I do? I oh, don't know. Please get back here now. Okay, so apparently Professor Elm is kind of... I don't know. He seems to be rumbled about something. He seems quite upset. We should probably go and see what's going on. I feel we should probably go and help him because, you know, he did give us a... He did give us like, a prize Pokemon, to be honest. So, you know, he was quite, he was quite nice to us. I'm still holding down the B button to run. I can just like relax, can have one hand behind my head. 
Oh god damn it, I need to get my other hand back there. Oh, the rival music! So awesome! You got a Pokemon in the lab, what a waste! That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you! Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon, I'll show you what I mean! Okay, okay, don't get touchy. Okay, so here's our first rival. You are challenged by the passerboy by passer pa passerboy by passerby boy, and he is gonna come at you with a level five starter, which is gonna be better against yours. So you pick Totodile, he will have a Chikorita. You pick Chikorita, he'll have a Cyndaquil. If you pick Cyndaquil like I did, he will have a Totodile. But don't threat, because he won't know any water moves. So just really tackle. And if you leveled up at least once, you should have this battle in the bag. I'm saying this now, and see if he comes back and just gets like a massive load of critical hits and just owns me. I will be so disappointed. Totodile is using Leer. Yeah, you use Leer. You look at me in a bad way. I will be very angry. I don't think... It, no, I'm pretty sure his... No matter what level you get to, his will always be at level 5. Um... Yeah, no, all, all the trainers in this game, levels won't change unless they call you up for a rematch. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer! Yeah, well, good luck with that, you little bitch. Ah, well, no, I seem to have lost something. Oh, dear. Give me it back, that's my trainer card! How did you get my trainer card? No, you know my name! I'm gonna run away! Uh. Okay, so I don't, I don't really know what that was, uh... Yeah, 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 he clearly heard me sniggering at his name. I mean, like, okay, so we need- Aw, oh, yeah, yeah, he clearly has a really, really, really stupid name, so... What will we, what will we call him? Newbark Town, here we are. You know what, I have the, I have a name set out for him now. I, I, I've got a name worked out in my head, just because he seems to be a dick. And, um... Yeah, I, I, I think we'll give him... Uh, I've got an idea for a name. But he does have really cool hair, I will give him that. I remember when I had my hair dyed red, it was pretty awesome. But uh, we will be actually be calling him Sharon Mark II. Because this guy is going to be creepy and he's going to follow us around and he's going to be a dick! Um, so, Sharon... Oh, can't even put the mark in, but she's gonna be Sharon too. Oh man, that is actually awesome, Sayumi. That is actually sick. I, I remember when I had my hair, uh, I had my hair dyed like it was like a dark, dark blue. And oh man, that was that was definitely my favorite hair I've ever had. It's like you know the Ace Trainer blue in Pokemon Black, White, Black and White Two. It was like a darker version of that, and oh man, it was so awesome. Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? He handed- Chris 72's handed the mystery egg to Professor Elm. Huh? This is an egg, isn't it? The egg may be something I've never seen, but it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Huh. What a thing to get fascinated by. Maybe he's fascinated by chickens, too. Maybe he's decided to come to the discovery of what came first, the chicken or the egg. I don't know, these are the conundrums that Mr. Pokemon should be solving. Okay, anyway, that was kind of a little bit, uh, a little bit off topic, but, um, yeah, Professor Elm's basically just mocking us now. And I see I had mine dyed bright, bright blue right before my exams last year, and I, I walked into what, I think it was my, my uh, it was my business management exam, <coughs> and, um, the deputy head was like, yeah, if I could give a chance, I would be expelling him right now, and I was just like, yeah, but you can't. Oh, it was brilliant. Oh, I loved my blue hair. Then I had, then I started working, and then I had to dye it black again. No, wait, no, wait. I don't want to give her. Some, I don't want to let her save my money. And this is a life lesson to any males watching this stream. Okay, if you're females, foe, don't take offense, but do not, do not trust a female with your money, because she will go away and buy you random shit that you do not need. No, I don't no, no, I, it's not about my money. Go away. So do n this is a life lesson. Do never trust a female with your money, because they will buy you crap you do not want.
Oh, jeez. Lyra. <laughs> as I said, don't be offended. I didn't mean it as a sexist remark, but it's a life lesson. If, especially your mom. Don't ever give your mom money. She will buy you shit you don't need. Ah. Uh. The only good item she will ever buy you is a moonstone. Wait, what the hell just happened? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be skipping frames like a motherfucker in this. Because I really don't want to sit and watch this. But Sayumi, I apologize. It was it was very careless of me to say something like that. I apologize. I hope you can forgive me. There we go! The Iris just caught a ratata. Or a ratata ta 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 but it's still a life lesson. Just, just don't tell Sayumi that you know women will spend your money, so don't let her save your money. Anyway, Say uh, so Sayumi did not hear me saying that down the mic. Um, okay, that was in invisible words. Time to go back to Cherry Grove City, and this is going to be the next thing you'll notice is I actually know the city's names, so it won't be like I'm going to come over to this little city over here somewhere. It'll be I'm going to fly square to. Cherry Grove City, or then is it, uh, what's actually after that? I can't remember. Okay, so this is embarrassing. I said, like, I know the city's names, but then it's like, oh, wait, I don't know the next city. Okay, wild Pokemon. Jesus, Pidgey, go away. Nobody wants a Pidgey. Actually, Pidgey is awesome. Maybe I should get a Pidgey, but no. Pidgey will not be my next team member. And here we go. Ah, go away! <laughs> Centred, level 3. But yeah, these are really the lazy beginnings, like every other Pokemon game. Really easy Pokemon. Nothing really to worry about. It's lazy days, lazy days. And we have arrived back in Cherry Grove. Sorry guys, I was just checking the heat in my laptop there. I thought it was heating up a wee bit. But it's Q, it's Q. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Restore your Pokemon to full health. Would you like to heal your Pokemon? Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. There we go, awesome. We hope to see you again. No. She says, please come back anytime. Oh. Mind is blown. Uh, I'm gonna quickly file, save, state, shift. She went, if I just say should... Ah, ha. Well, will I give a hint to where I catch my first Pokemon? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I did already give out the details of one Pokemon I will be catching, and that was Morphs. So I, I might just make everyone sit in suspense to my next Pokemon. But we're going to use Tackle again. And Smokey, doing awesome. It's more funny to sit and uh, see and watch what everybody thinks it'll be. Like what Pokemon? Like judging on what I was using uh, in Pokemon Black and White, what Pokemon do you think will be on my team? I'm quite interested to kind of hear responses. Um, as in, like which Pokemon do you think I'll be catching besides Morphs? But you can discuss which Eevee evolution it might be. Uh, that'd be cool. I I'm quite curious to see what people think, we, uh, what kind of Pokemon I'll be using. Heracross, interesting, interesting choice, interesting Pokemon. I will say for I will never, I will not be confirming or denying any of these Pokemon. I'm just, I'm curious to see what people say. But Heracross, I, I do really like Heracross. There was a point in the last episode, uh, not one of the last episodes, but one of the last episodes of Pokemon White 2. Um, I did say, I was talking about using Heracross at some point, so Heracross, yes, no, might be. Maybe wait and see. And it's a Pidgey. And come on, there we go. Sit down, Pidgey. Do, 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 do. It's Youngster Joey! This is the one reason I play this game! 
I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. I have a Rattata that's in the top percentage. This guy is number one lad in the Johto region. Um, yeah. <laughs> Favorite trainer and oh, absolute athlete of the Pokemon games. There we go, but Rattata, I'm sorry, I had to kill you. Hey, can I get your number? I'll ring you up to battle. Yes, I will give Youngster Joey my number, because Youngster Joey... Youngster Joey is my favorite character in game. He's just, he's so cheerful, and he always has to talk about his little Rattata. I always love to hear what he says. And TP, yeah, I love hearing what he says about his Rattata, just because it's so ridiculous. I did remember seeing a screenshot at one point, he goes, I took out a wild Metagross in the wild with his Rattata, and I got really confused, and I was like, bullshit you did, because there's no Metacrosses in this route. And it's not as if you moved anywhere, because all these trainers seem to just stay stationary, and they don't ever seem to go anywhere else. Come on, we can take this Rattata out before he kills us. Oh jeez, almost. But Smokey, you hanged in there, you hung in there like a champ. And youngster Mikey, I'm sorry. But, uh, your winning streak is over. Those are interesting choices there. Uh, I do really like almost all those Pokemon you said. Um, the one thing I will say is I will not be using Marie. Out of those Pokemon you say, I will say I'm not using Marie. Because Marie is overused as hell in this game. But, you know, I'm not going to confirm or deny any of the other ones. But uh, besides Marie, that's the only one I'm going to say is I will not be using. I do really like uh, Ampharos, but as I said, because it's overused, I will not be using it. And what's this guy saying? Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer! Okay, so we are challenged by Challenger Dawn. And we're just going to ember all this little guy's bugs. But uh, everything else you've said there are really awesome Pokemon, so uh, I might use some of them, I might not use some of them. How'd you know? How'd you know I was just not making excuses for Mareep? And how'd you know I might just not end up using a red Gyarados just saying, heh, fuck it. But anyway, ah, uh, wild Pokemon! It's a Bellsprout! <clears throat> and if you actually catch a Bellsprout, um, you can trade it in the next city for an Onyx. So if you've actually started with a Chikorita, I can definitely uh, recommend that you could probably... Okay, it's a big formidable tree, it looks like I'm going to be headbutted. How do you know I'm trying to confuse you with conundrums of words and confusing by confusing of words of conundrum of a conundrum of a red Gyarados and a Sudowoodo? That is the question. And we're gonna quickly grab an item and then we're gonna have a quick wee look in this cave. Cause I think we can I can't remember if you can get in or do you need flash? Dark cave, alright, oh, you need flash. Is there an item around here? And there's a Geodude! A Geodude is an awesome Rock-type Pokémon, really high defenses. Um, first time we've seen one. Uh, really cool Pokémon. Uh, shit, I didn't mean to go this way. And we're gonna run. And we're going to just quickly get the way out of a cave. Because there's nothing left for us to do in there right now. Is we can't see shit. So there's no point being in there at the moment. So we're going to grab a Pokeball and we will carry on. I caught a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you. Uh-huh. What did you get? You got, a, you got a Caterpie. Cool story, man. Cool story. It's a whooper, a whooper, eh? Interesting, interesting. Quagsire. Huh. I mean, I do really like whooper. I mean, if you can be that friggin' happy and have no arms. 
I mean, look at Wooper, he's just so cute! Uh, I love Wooper. Okay, so there we go, the next bug trainer is defeated. And there we go, so... I'm gonna tell Grass I'll find all kinds of berries. Did I get your phone number? Uh, I guess I'll give you my phone number. But, yeah, I'm gonna quickly go back in the dark cave. Because, uh, I wanna see if I can see a Dunsparce. Dunsparce are pretty awesome. Cool, man. And I'm pretty sure there's actually a potion at the back here we can get. Bullshit, I'm stuck. I want this potion, I want free stuff. Maybe there isn't a potion. Maybe I was just imagining said potion. But I wasn't imagining Zubat. Now, Zubat is a pretty awesome flying type, so Zubat will actually be the first Pokemon I catch. One wiggle. Two wiggles. Fuck's sake. Yep, Zubat is going to be my first Pokemon on my team. Besides Cyndaquil. <laughs> I didn't want to make it obvious, it was just kind of... I, I was half tempted to sit and wait until the next route. But um, then I kind of figured I can't be asked waiting that long using Smokey alone. So, Zubat is going to be our second team member. And Zubat's data is added to the Pokedex. While flying, it's cons it consistently emanates ultrasonic waves when its both it checks its surroundings. Name her Bat. Seems legit. Bat. You know what, I'm, I, I've got a plan. Bat. Womb. And... Batwoman! And there we go, we have now got Batwoman and Smokey47 on our team. Okay, so let's have a quick look at Batwoman. An adamant nature! Awesome! I am very happy with that nature. Ah, sweet. Okay. The only thing about uh, Zubat is it is absolutely friggin' useless at the beginning of the game. So really I won't be able to be using much of him, uh, much of her, I sorry I should say, Batwoman, um, at the moment, but uh, she, you know, she's on our team, she's here, she's here to stay. Save to slot one. And I will be doing that occasionally, just to kind of make sure I don't stall it. Chris has obtained a VS Recorder. And I'm going to put that in the key items. I won't let you pass me again. Well, that's a little bit creepy. Okay, so we have arrived in Violet City. And what is there to do here? What is there to do here? There's a trade in this house you can make. Um, for the bell sprout for the onyx, like I was talking about. This guy, you can trade shards for berries. Um, there's actually a guy in here, if you say certain words, it's this guy here. Um, he can actually give you an egg of a slugma, um, a whooper, or a mareep. So if you quickly, if you're to Google uh, words to name to, I think, it's, I think his name's Pyre or something like that. <coughs> but uh, if you if you uh, Google words to give to him, you can get yourself either a Slugma, Marie, or a Whooper, which is pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, that's really what you can do there. And this guy up here, this is the trainer's school, the Pokemon gym, but we can't do it yet. It's pretty su it's pretty suckish. But if you speak to this guy, he speaks like Yoda. Well, yeah, you are a trainer. Mm. Battle gym leader, you win. You did. No. Ah, is that so? Well, study you shall. 
Follow me! Okay, Yoda. Cool story. Let's go. Let's follow Yoda. Hey, as teacher I am. Mmm. Good it is you study here. Mmm. Master Jedi you will become. But fall to the dark side you must not. You must not go to the trainer school across the road. Mmm. Dark side it is. So Barry's going to restore Pokemon's health. Yes, that's a very good point. But uh, I don't think there's much we can do in here. What's this guy saying? Would you like to join a group? No, I will not follow the group. I will not follow you. And we're gonna leave. And we've had a very we had, we've had enough of that guy. And we're gonna carry on going around up here and exploring Violet City. As there is a guy around here that a lot of people actually miss whenever they play the game. Um, if you speak to this guy, he will actually give you Rock Smash. And uh, loads of people actually seem to miss this out, so, you know, this is Rock Smash, this is where you get it. Um, there's no mystery to it, you just speak to people. Beware hidden moves, I learned from Pokemon, to, so, okay, so yeah, he's basically saying that HMs can be difficult for Pokemon to forget. And if you keep on going down here, we have reached the ruins of Alf. And here there is a load of puzzles you can do, which will basically release the unknown. If you actually get my drift, it's a joke, you know, unknown, you'll release the unknown, the unknown, you don't know what's going to happen. It's such a bad joke. Okay, this Pokemon hides in the sea floor and watches the shores of his eyes on its back. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. Why doesn't it move? Aha. <coughs> yeah, my, my, my Pokemon jokes are unlimited. You'd, you'd, you'd be surprised. Aha, there we go. And my god, it is a Kabuto. Turn, god damn it, hurry up and move. There we go. Oh jeez, what's going on? I like the way a ten-year-old solved this puzzle. Yeah, like, old researchers and people, like, couldn't. Oh, jeez. Did, did, did you just come down from above? So you must have solved the stone puzzle. That's wonderful! You seem to have some very talented archaeology. I'll give you an unknown reporter. The report's unknown you capture. I'm sure it'll come in handy. I doubt it, to be honest. Um, I will not be catching the unknown. I was just kind of showing how to, like reveal them. But uh, there's going to be a load of unknown to fight to get out of here, I can feel it. My Jedi senses from the trainer school are clearly tingling. Oh, so this has like a, probably either a water uh, ancient power or maybe like a ground ancient power. Um, doo -doo -doo. I'm actually going to have Batwoman up front. Um, just that way, uh, we can get a little bit of XP, and wait, what do you mean, um, yeah, yeah, ground, ground rock or water. Oh jeez, this one's super effective as well. Okay, but Batwoman's leveled up, so that, that, that's cool, that's cool, I forgive it. Come on, come on, come on, we need to get out of here. No! More wild unknown! Uh, what do you mean, uh, Exion? Come on, Smokey. Ah, don't worry about it. As I, as I said before, have I, I don't know, have I actually said to you before that I have German family? No, maybe not. Maybe I didn't say that. Maybe I was meant to say that and I never did. I said to someone I had German family quite recently. I remember saying it to someone. But no, I actually have German family, so... No, there's seven viewers right now. I have se there's seven people watching. Uh, there's currently seven people watching the streams, so... Okay, so we're going to quickly heal up. Yeah, no, by using Twitch, it tells me how many people are actually watching, so...
Yeah, yeah, I mean, actually, in the chat, um, there is... Okay, my, my, my computer is deciding not to tell me, okay. But uh, normally it tells you, like, who's watching and whatnot, so... And we're going to quickly end off episode 1 here. Um, I'm going to carry on streaming again of episode 2 right away, so don't you, none, don't, none of you fans stress, because I'm sure I will be carrying on right away. Um, I'm just kind of, I'm going to quickly change that I'm, uh, what game I'm playing, because I'm pretty sure it still says I'm playing Pokemon White. But uh, besides that, I'll be streaming again in a couple of minutes, so don't go away. If you're watching it on Twitch and you've enjoyed, don't forget to follow. Um, if you're watching it on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. I will see you guys again in a couple of minutes.